Hello procrastinators, money makers and also YouTubers, Laser Jet here and welcome back to Train Simulator 2017. Um, and my last 2017 uh, episode, I was driving the Royal Scott and a lot of you are saying that I have no idea how to drive a train and to be honest, I know literally nothing at all about train driving. I'm completely useless, so you know. And just before I get started, um, I made a mistake in... Um, a, a Christmas special, well it wasn't really a Christmas special, it was just a, a Christmas video that I thought would be nice to have on a Train Simulator 2017 episode and that was the Polar Express but I'm just here to say now before we get this video started I want to take the time and say that I've made a mistake that it wasn't the Polar Express and it's a totally different locomotive so I'm just just doing it in this video just to let you guys know that I made a mistake and I deeply apologise. So anyway, we're not gonna let's not get bogged down of who's the most dumbest person in the world because it's not me. Well, I know not. I don't know a lot of stuff, but I just you know I'm I'm not that dumb. I just I'm just clever in my own little ways. But anyway, today um, we're gonna be driving this amazing and fast and God, it's brilliantly detailed. Acela Express. Um, and to be honest, um, in the original train simulator, the Microsoft train simulator, this was actually the best um, electric diesel locomotive you could play. And that game, and to be honest, Microsoft train simulator is a really, really old game. But in my words, I, I really liked it. But today we're going to be like redoing that because this is like, um, it's, it's like the American version of the TGV. Um, which reminds me, uh, we're going to be doing a hell of a lot more Train Simulator 2017 episodes. Just this is one of them. And, you know, we're going to be doing a lot more Train Simulator because people want to see me do more trains. And, do you know what, I want to do more trains as well. So, anyway, this is what we have today. And the detail in this is just ridiculous. I mean, I really do like this locomotive. And if we press 5. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is actually, this is a really nice interior. I mean, look at this. I mean, we got these weird chair I'm not apparently I'm I'm a ghost. You can't see my body. I'm just floating I'm just like a little head floating in a chair. But I love the detail in the floor. We got these little LED lights. Um why would they pick red though? I don't know. Um it would be more better if they picked white. But the detail in this, look at that. This is this is a truly the best like diesel locomotive there is. I mean I don't think it's the fastest but I think it is one of the best, but the thing is, these diesels are really old now. These are this, this is ancient diesel technology. But hold on, can we open the doors? Open the doors. Open the doors. Ah, there we go. Okay, we could just pop inside. Oh, well, the interior is a bit different in this one. Hold on, if we press five, press zero. Oh, uh, that's uh, well. The table's still the same. The chairs are still in the right place, but they're just you know, it, like this version, it, it looks more crappy. Oh, there's a person. Oh. Uh, Oh man, I'm a miserable old fart. Look at that. He's got no hair. He's bold. What is wrong with this person? Oh, oh, that's the whistle. That means we gotta go. Um, right. How does this work? Um, um, uh, uh off N means neutral. Rever rever is reverse, and I'm guessing forward, forward, uh, for. Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing that's forward. Um. Emergency stop. Um, uh, timer. Cruise con cruise control. Handbrake. Sander. Auto brakes. Um, I'm guessing these two would do something, but let's just have a look around. Um, the lights. Uh, headlights. I don't know what that is. Horn. Um, does, that, does that do something? Oh. Okay. That, that's. Well, that, that's not. That's not the regulator. Um. Also, this, what's this? Is, this? is this a break? Oh, I did something there. Oh, I forgot you could do that. You can actually click on the screen and change the screen. Oh, that's cool. Um, right. Uh, cruise control. Power. That says power. I think that's some. That does. That does something. What about this one? Uh, do I have to have them both on? How how do you work this? Um. It's a train but Oh, do I have to have that off? Uh, how does this train work? Um, oops, I, I, I heard a brake go off. Oh! 
Oh, we're moving. Oh, are we moving? Oh, God, we're moving. Hey, hey look at that. I did it. Um, oh, miles per hour. Nice. Uh, six miles per hour, seven miles per hour. We're not going that fast. Um, oh, we're, we're going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do it this way. Oh. Oh, that's the accelerator. I don't know what this does. Well, that's, that does something. Um, okay, for some reason it says we're doing 20 something 25 miles per hour but it says here we're doing 45 I don't actually I don't know if this is miles per hour that might be kilometers per hour I don't, I don't, I don't know I don't know if this I don't know how these trains work I'm not a train expert can we go outside oh we can, we can go outside here that's cool uh well I, I don't I don't know how to drive trains I mean I'm I'm not I'm not an expert if you want to to be honest, I wouldn't really watch this. If you guys want to see a person who's an expert at these kind of things, go look at someone else because I don't even know how these thin how, how these things work. Well, I don't actually know which one's the speedometer. Is it that one or is it this one? I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick with this one because this looks more accurate. This just looks more random. Um, so that's one. So that's three. No, 135 kilometers per hour. I think I'm just guessing. And this must be miles per hour because it says MPH, but this doesn't say anything. So, you know, I'm, I don't know. Um, God, trains are so confusing. If, if it, who wants to be a train driver? Because, I mean, I know trains are cool, but sometimes they can be deeply confusing. But simulator games like these, they confuse me. I'm going to have a look outside, actually. An outside view is much better and cooler. Let's get just a bit of There we go. Oh. God, we are, we are cruising at a very silly pace. I don't know how fast this thing can actually go, but we'll try that later because I'm gonna go. I want to go inside again. Oh, look at that! Can, can I move around? Oh, I didn't. Know, I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know I could move seats. Can I? Can I go somewhere? Can I move? Can I go to just? Oh no, we can only switch from these two seats. Well, that's actually quite cool. I didn't know we could switch seats. Oh my god! I I am a genius. I know everything, and you know I know how to drive a train, and I know everything about tra trains. Oh, emergency exit! Pull handle to remove rubber. Oh, emergency exit! How exquisite! And how well it's it's, it's oh oh what's that up there? Oh, Acceler Express. Um, Acceler Express. Does it say anything else? Acceler Express. Does it say anything else rather than the Excel Express? No, it doesn't. Oh no, we're speeding! God, speeding! Slow down! Slow down! We don't want. To, we don't want. To, we do not want to speed. Um, how do we slow down? Um, that's one way to slow down. Uh, just put the reversal rod and then just put it on full. Oh, we're coming up to a station. Should we, we try and stop at the station? Stop! 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 Got the braking in this as well. Oh no, do we need this on? We, oh yeah, um, braking. Brake. Break. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We're, we're cruising. Well, we're slowing down very steadily. I like that. Um, we're still going. We're still going a bit too fast. We need to apply brake. Not too much though. Do we need to have that off? Oh, well, we, are, we are slowing down. Uh, ah, okay. We're, we're starting to slow down a little bit. Just don't apply too much brakeness. But we need, we do need to slow down. Uh, God, how can anyone do this? This is just—it's stupidly difficult. Uh, right, uh, forty something rather miles per hour. So we're doing, we're doing all right. Um, I want, I want to have a cool angle with this. Look at that. We. God, this is actually one of my favourite simulator games. I mean, I do have a lot, but you know, this is this is one of them. This is one of my favourite simulator games. I do like Ship Simulator and Kerbal Space Program. Those are like the, one of the of, of my simulator games that I really like as well. Um, right, we're coming in. Okay, um, 36 miles per hour. Okay, slow down. Please. Slow down. Stop. Had mercy. Mercy. Emergency brake activated. Mercy. Break! Stop! Uh. Oh god, dip! Oh. Ah, there we go. I wasn't scared. I'm relaxed. Right, let's see how much we're in. Uh, dip, 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 dip. Um, 
Ah, ooh. Ah, we, 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 I could have, you know, I had this much space, but, um, I, 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 actually, I, th I think that's a success. All oh, my passengers off. Open the doors. Yes. Um, I have a quick question. It has a, it has a disabled badge on the side of the door, but how are the disabled are supposed to get on? Like, people in wheelchairs, how are they supposed to get on that? I mean, there's a, there's a, like, a, a five feet gap between the train and the platform. Or maybe it has something to do with this really weird switch. Does that do anything? No, it's just a picture. Damn you. Um, what else, what else does this thing have? Oh. Oh, it's my time to go. Au revoir. Au revoir. Gesundheit. Farewell. Au revoir. Goodbye. Um. Farewell. And have a lovely life. God, this thing does take off quite fast. And just... Watch it go in style. Oh, little sparks. I just saw a little spark there. That's actually quite cool. Oh, well, there it was again. That was a cool spark. Right, we're on the move again. We've successfully stopped at a station. Just. But now, I'm going to try and see how fast this thing can actually go. Because, to be honest, this thing... Like, obviously it took off like a bullet, but... I want to see what's the top, I mean, I know we're speeding already, but I really want to see how fast we can get this thing. So we're at 100 miles per hour, but it says here we're doing 176, 7 or 8, so I'm not, I'm just going to ignore that, so just get rid of that. So at the moment we're doing 114, oh, 15 miles per hour, we're always 120. I wonder how fast this thing can actually get. Challenge accepted. How fast can we get? If you guys know what your if you guys know how fast this train can go, or if you're gonna guess, let's just stop the video. If you guys want to guess how fast I can get this train, leave your answer right down in the comments or the dis or something or other. I'll, I'll I'll see who's who's got the closest. But just put your answer down right now, and I'll and I'll and I'll read them and see how fast we can get this train. But now we're doing 137 miles per hour. God, let's get to 160. Oh, but we are breaking the speed limit quite badly. Oh my god, corner, 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 corner. Ooh. I'm really scared. How, how much is this train leaning? Ooh, god, this that's not good. Is that another corner over there? Oh god, this corners are my biggest fear with trains. Ooh, look how much we're wobbling. Bit of lag on my game as well. Oh, but we're wobbling. It's, it's a bit of a wobble. Oh, got a wobble, got a weave on. Oh god. Don't go in there. Oh, just imagine if we went on that, on that bit of the track. And then the whole thing just came off. That would have been catastrophic. Oh, quite a nice view from there, actually. Oh, God, got a corner, got a corner. Oh, corner. Oh, God, corners. I don't like corners. Oh, this thing's wobbling like mad. What happens if we... Oh, look, there's another train. Blow the horn. Hello, I'm the train. Hello, my friend. Is that thing even moving? Oh, no, it's just stationary there. Oh my god, my thing just went... F my thing just zoomed past. Look at that. Oh, I've got a station here. Oh dear. This is... This is fucking quick. Oh god. Oh, corners. No, no corners. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Still 154 miles per hour. Oh my god, this thing's going to jump the tracks. Oh my... How is this thing still on the tracks? Oh no, it's going to jump here. I guarantee... Oh... Ooh, 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 ooh. How much are we leaning? Uh, oh, one, one full lock. Oh, God. Speeding. Yeah, no kidding. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm deeply scared that this thing's going to come off the track. Ooh. Oh, look, another train over there. Hello. Oh, he's pulling freight. Hello. A little friendly, you know. Toot, toot. God, I, how did that even not, like, how did that not, like, jump the tracks? Like, if I go over, like, that is, like, my most awesomest thing I've ever done. Going at full speed and not derailing for once. Where does this track go? Oh, it's a dead end. Which wise ass would just put a long strip of track here in the middle of some houses, which is, which is a dead end. No wonder this guy stopped. He's got nowhere to go. Guys, I am so bored. I've been driving on this long bit of straight for about like six minutes now and I know that's not a long time but for me it is 
there's no corners or anything. Well, we're coming out to a corner now, thank God, but... God, let this end. I didn't know tri being a train driver could be so boring. Oh, look, this corner's not that extreme to derail me. That's good, but... I mean, I've got to be honest, I mean, all this technology stuff, I mean, it's so futuristic. I mean, this emergency stop button, that looks like it belongs in a modern art gallery. But there's nothing for the engine, like, for it to do. I mean, we've got cruise control, which is very good. But, you know, there's there's no point in that. We got we can have all the pentagraphs up, or down, or something, or... I mean, let's just fill around with the pentagraphs, and what can we have? See, that we've got no pentagraphs now, which means we're slowing down. Um, uh, oh, no. We need... Okay, well, there we go. We'll have, um, we'll have one pentagraph up. There we go. So you see that, like, little blue spark? Get some power now. Oh, there, there, there was again. But there's like, there's only like a few like downsides I have with this train. I mean, it's not very fast. Um, I mean, 153 miles per hour. I mean, it's good, but it's it's not that fast. I mean, anything anything could do 103 miles per hour. Or 153. Sorry, I said 103 miles per hour. I meant to say 153. But the point I'm saying is that. This, this train is not that good. I mean, what, and one of the reasons I have a problem with this thing, it's it's very big. It's a very big locomotive. It's one of the biggest locomotives I've ever actually had. I mean, it's very tall and it's very wide. And to be honest, I don't think this train actually looks very nice. But anyway, let's not get bogged down about that. I'm going to try out... The emergency stop button. I'm actually quite scared to press it because I mean, I know it, the train's going to stop, but I'm just worried that it might not work at all. We'll do it like an emergency stop test. Here we go. Three. No, nah, I'm kidding. Uh, I don't want to do that. Or do I? Should I press it or not press it? Press it or not press it? Press it or not press it? Ah, fuck, I'm going to press it. Three, two, one, press. It's not very effective. This thing's not slowing down at all. It's, it's like. Come on, slow down. Go talk about an emergency brake. This thing's rubbish. Probably the Americans built that. Not that any of the Americans are stupid, but you know they need to work better on emergency braking. I mean, and this this thing's rubbish. Or maybe the, is this train even American? Oh look, we're at this. Uh, what is this place? We're in. An, we're at like a nice um, white bit. Oh, we're slowing down now. We're actually. How, f how much are we slowing down? Still not fast enough. Seems rubbish. Breaking in this is... I could stop faster than that with a... Steam locomotive pulling... 75... Steam coaches. No, let's, let's, get, let's get a really cool view shot of the train stopping so quick. Well, not that quickly, but you know. It's coming to like a... Dramatic failing stop. I like the sound. I like the sound it's making. Like the sound of it just powering down. And stop. I like that. No, that's really good. I like that. But to be honest, some people out there think that the Excel Express is a good locomotive. And I and then to be honest, I have to be fair here. That I totally respect that. Because I'm not saying this engine's rubbish. I'm just saying it's not. It's not one of my favourite locomotives, if, if if that makes sense. But you know, um, it's it's still a good locomotive. I hope you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna close off this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this um, steam. No, it's not really. It's uh, electric uh, diesel locomotive thing. Well, I, I don't know. Just I hope you enjoy. Guys did enjoy this episode of Train Simulator 2017. Um, well, anyway, I hope you... Well, yeah, that's it. Um, let's call this video over. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description below. Um, and we'll do another one. I mean, I've got... Um, I've got uh, I'm getting a few new add-on packs, so that, look forward to that soon. Um, I might get the TGV one, actually, as well, to see how good that one is. But, you know, it's going to cost me money, but I don't care. A lot, Everything costs money now these days. But I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I hope to see you next time. And remember... To stay cool.